Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrik and welcome back. So this week I wanted to try something new. I wanted to make a game since I finished my last game, Steam Mine, but I didn't want to create a long project, so I decided on two rules. The first one, I want to make the game in one day. The second rule, the game has to fit into one C sharp script. A huge disclaimer, I am a software engineer, so I know that this is not good. You should not put all your game or all your functionality into one script but I wanted to have a small challenge for myself and want to have fun to make every component in this game to, have to share some familiarities or some functions. By having that out of the way, let's get started. So because of my one day window rule, I wanted to create something really cool and really quick. So I went with an arcade game. All you have to do is just move around the map and survive as long as you can, avoiding bumping into any red asset. So it's enemies, spikes, and also by collecting some coins to advance your score. And I always start with setting up the scene in Unity. I went, of course, to the Unity website to download some cool assets for the game. I settled for this assets and created the scene, and it was really good and I wanted to start creating the game. So the game, our, my first functionality I wanted to add is moving, so I need to make the player move around by using only simple controls by the arrow keys or the WSD. And it worked perfectly, it's a simple thing to do. And with having one script, I had to be a bit creative on how I would present my grid. So my grid was not presented by a matrix or array, it was just by numbers X and Y and have a minimum and maximum. And whenever one player want or the object want to move, it has to check all the object if, if that place is empty or that or filled. It's not practical, it's not a good code, but it works. So I'm going with it. After that, the code was pretty straightforward and the player now moves around the map. And it's, it's really good and it's really fluid. After that, I wanted to add the score to the game to make it look more fun and more challenging. And the score will increment per second. And when the player dies, the score stops, so it's pretty simple scoring mechanics and it was fun to add. And to make it a bit more fun and interactive, I introduced the coin mechanics. The player has to collect the coins and for each coin the player has, the multiply the score. So if uh, the score will increase 1 per second, when having 1 coin it will increase 2 per second, having 4 coins it will increase 4 per second and so on. So it will make the game a bit more fun to collect the coins. You will make the game harder and you will get more score. So it's a risk reward mechanic here. Not very visible, but it's there. Next, I wanted to add and introduce some enemies to the game. The enemy is pretty simple, I created two types. The first one, that will move around the map at a random pace. I know, one script is a bit hard to create an AI on it, but I, I managed to pull it off. The enemy will start by finding a place around him, so either top, left, right or down, and then move to that point, and so on. The second type of enemy, will follow the player and I am amazed that I could manage to do, add this functionality in this small code. So all I have to do now is the enemies will have to match the index of the player by subscribing or adding to the X of Y of its index. And it works and it's pretty fun to avoid those kind of enemies. Next, I wanted some way to kill those enemies and in some way to kill the player too. So I created spikes. The spikes, I have two kinds. The moving spike that will go from one side of the map to the next and so on. We have a vertical and horizontal ones. And next, the stationary spikes that will just pop on the map and stay there until the player dies. And those spikes will kill the player and kill the enemy. So the player have here some maneuvers to do to direct the enemies into the spike and so forth to making the game a bit easier. It was a really fun hidden game mechanic and I really liked it And when I test the game. And by that the game was finished and it was amazing to play, it was a fast paced game and you have to die, you live again, die and live again to gain the high score. I ended up adding the tutorial and again a simple tutorial, I really like the tutorial this one, that avoid the raid, collect the coins and move by using the arrow keys or the WASD. In the end I just sent the game to all my friends to make a bit of testing on the game. And one thing that will top all the information, all the notes I got, is collecting coins is not very fun or not that fun. We don't get enough feedback to see what the coin do. So I ended up by adding a really small scroll bar, not a scroll bar, a slider bar, 
under the score and it will let the player know how many coins it will collect and it will be from x2 to x3 and x4 and so on on how many coins will collect so for the first modifier we get two coins the second one will, will take three to complete and so on and it was a really cool feature to add in this small game and i was able to pull it off in this one script challenge the game is now finished and I ended up everything by setting up the project setting, player setting and uploading to HIO, Game Jolt and the new ground so you can play it whenever you like, wherever you like. And of course we have a Windows build, WebGL build and I missed that the code only under 500 script lines. It's amazing, the game is so compact and polished with this small amount of code and I have built to put AI in it and the player movement and uh, resetting the scene everything is these small lines and now you can check okay the lines are above 600 but it's all like comments and the space bars and enter so this all don't count really in the final count of the lines on this script and let me know what's your opinion on this game please go do play it links in the description below for all the sites that hold the game and i would really like to hear your feedback on how to improve the game maybe i am Maybe I'll take this game and make it a full-fledged game, not a small challenge. I don't know, it will be based on your feedback. Finally, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing and sharing the video. I am 100 subscribers short of hitting my 1000 subscriber milestone. I am pretty excited about it, not gonna lie. And if you just want to make friends and join some game dev discussions of you or you just want to ask some questions or guidance in game development, please do make sure to join our kingdom over on Discord. Links in the description below. And now, in the end, don't forget to like, share and again subscribe. See you all in the next adventure and in the next creation.